Hi viewers, welcome to the NSP YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create column with a base plate in Tecla Structures 2025 version with this design information. Okay, let's start. Before going to open Tecla Structures software, to make sure you, your computer have internet connection, double click on this icon to open the Tecla Structures software. Environment, select US and uh, Probe, select Imperial Steel Detailing. Let's take uh, Imperial Steel Detailing and the configuration. Currently, we are using Education version. Then click on OK. Now click on New and Model Name. Let's take our tutorial is 3. So we're going to take here Tutorial 3. Model Name. Now, now I'm going to take here Steel Detailing and Single User and uh, this model is going to save in this path in c drive tecla structures models then click on create here click on here okay now we will get like this views 3d now click on here and close it for example you can see for example you don't have this window like this blank in the background then click on here window and select here view list and you can directly click on here and click on this arrow to open and maximize it for example you don't have this option also for example you can use the shortcut control i to open view list window then select this 3d model then click on here to open and close it and maximize this one like this okay in our example you can see in our PDF example, we have simple one column with the member size W14 by 48. Size is this is the standard size according to US standard. Now we're going to create this base plate, this type of base plate. So we don't require more grids. So we're going to take only two grids. So double click on this grid, double click on this grid to open this grid property window. Now we're going to take in our example we have single column with the base plate so we don't we don't require this many grids so we're going to make it here zero zero and z direction zero and 10 feet because we have upper level of this column is the 10 feet so let's take 10 feet now in the x direction one grid and here also capital a and here plus zero and plus 10 feet level in z direction labels then click on modify to see the result you can see now have only one and a grid now close this window now we need to adjust this model box so click on space right click on mouse fit work area to enter model to get like this when i'm going to create column here so click on stream and select this column and zoom it here and click on here grid intersection point you can see the point is highlighting here so click on here to place the column if you get this window then click on expand here to get like this i click on mouse interrupt now double click on this column to edit now i'm going to change the profile here you can see name column if you want to change the name you can change here now coming to the profile in our example we have w14 by 48 so click on here profile catalog and we don't require w16 we need w14 so click on here plus symbol and w14 by 48 then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this profile should be w14 by 48 now coming to the height in our example we have bottom level at zero level and top level is the 10 feet so we're going to change this profile level also you can see top level is the 10 feet and bottom level that should be zero now click on modify it you'll get like this okay now close this window now click on space right click on mouse fit work here to enter model to get like this now we're going to create base plate at this location so go to the application components 
icon here click on here to open this window if you don't have this icon then use the shortcut control f to open this application component window now type here in the search bar base plate now you will get this base plate 1042 component select it now you can see in the command bar it asking pick part we need to select the column so click on it now pick the position now click on here grid intersection point to create a base plate once create the base plate this is the default base plate now right click on mouse interact and click on space right click on mouse redraw view to refresh this window now close this application components window now I'm going to change this base plate according to our design information this one and we have the information at here anchor size and the dimensions and everything so double click on this base plate or you can double click on this cone symbol also to open the component window like this property window now click on this parts tab in parts you can see plate thickness we have three by four by default in our design we have the thickness of this base plate is the half inch so we're going to change this size to half inch now click on modify to see the result here now thickness should be half inch now go to the anchor tab. in anchors we need to change the anchor rod size in our example we have the anchor rod size anchor rv1 one means indicates the one inch anchor so we're going to change this anchor size to one inch by default we have rv three by four three by four inch but we we require one inch so click on here and enter here one inch now click on apply okay similarly we need to change the nut and washer profile also according to the rod profile so click on here and select the one inch heavy x nut x nut and uh, coming to the washer also you need to select the one inch washer apply okay now click on modify to see the result of this anchor rod size like this now coming to this bottom of this base plate we have grout by default in our example we don't have any grout indication here so we're going to remove this grout so in the grout option make it here zero to modify it to remove this grout now coming to this anchor levels now you can see in our example we have from the bottom top of this base plate to anchor size anchor height we have two inch so we need to enter here top of this base plate to anchor size dimension two and uh, overall total length of this anchor from top of top of the anchor to bottom of this anchor tip we have one feet six inch so type here one feet you can see top of this anchor to bottom of this anchor we have one feet four inch by default so make it one feet six inch and uh, okay that's it about anchor so click on modify to see the result here like this now okay that's it in this window now go to the bolts tab in bolts we need to change this bolt size uh, to change the holes placement of the holes and bolts distance you can control from this window bolts tab now click on here we need to select here one inch according to the anchor size now we're going to take here tolerance here by default we're going to take here one by eight inch tolerance and uh, now coming to the distance in our design you can see section aa we have the information here along the length of this base plate we have four inch edge distance on both side and distance between the two bolts we have eight inch we have only two in this lengthwise base plate direction so this is the length side of the direction so edge distance we have four inch and number of bolts we have two in this direction and the spacing between the two bolts we have eight inch so take here eight inch now coming to the width of this base plate edge distance in our example we have two two edge distance and the number of rows in this direction we have two and the spacing between the two bolts we have five inch so edge distance we need to enter here 
two two and number of bolts we have two and spacing is the five inch. You can see two two and spacing is the five inch. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see you will get base plate like this. Now click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw you to update this window like this. Okay, if you want to rotate about this point, use the shortcut Control R and pick the rotation point here, and you can rotate about this point like this by using the Control and mouse middle button or scroll button. You need to press it and drag this window to rotate like this. Okay, right click on mouse, interrupt to exit the command like this. If you wanted to check this dimensions, we're going to create views first. So click on it, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Now click on create, OK. Now go to elevation along grid 1. So select it and click on this arrow to open. You can see, I'm going to check the dimension. So click on edit and click on measure and select this vertical distance from top of this column to bottom of this column, that means the intersection of this grid, that should be 10 feet, according to our example, you can see from bottom of this base plate to top of this column, we have 10 feet here. Now coming to these dimensions, thickness, we're going to measure the thickness. So click on here, first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension. You can see half inch. Now coming to this dimension, now click on here and click on here and place it to and from top of this anchor to bottom of this anchor that should be we need to select exactly at the bottom to top of this anchor see one feet six inch like this now coming to this dimensions now we're going to go to the top level so click on window and select this view list and Select this planet zero and click on arrow to open and zoom it. Now I want to measure these dimensions. So click on here measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it here. Similarly, we're going to measure this distance and this one also. And overall length. We have nine inch two five two. Just like here, 252. Two. Now I'm going to measure in this direction. So select it. Like this. And from here to here, place it here. And overall total length of this base plate. We have 1 feet 4 inch. 1 feet 4 inch and 4, 4, 8 inch is the spacing between the two bolts. Like this. Now, this column is the center of this base plate, so we can check from here also. For example, from edge of this base plate to center of this column, and from center to edge of this column, like this. Similarly, we're going to measure in the horizontal direction from edge to center of this column, from center to edge, we have four and We need to select from here to edge of this base plate, four and off and four and off like this. Eight, eight, this dimension. Okay, these are the checking dimensions. Once you check these dimensions, you can erase these dimensions. Just click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to erase these dimensions and go to the 3D view like this. Click on space, right click on mouse, fit, for the entire model, and you can see like this. Okay, that's it about how to create column with a base plate like this. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more tech structure related videos, please subscribe my channel, the NSK YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.